Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in the series of scikit-learn with machine learning. In the series of coming videos, we'll be learning a lot about machine learning and its application and implementation through scikit-learn. So this is the first introductory video in which we'll be looking at the overview of how one needs to work with machine learning and scikit-learn followed by the necessary steps that one needs to take. So looking at the agenda of the today's class, we'll be looking at what is scikit-learn and how does we can use it. So followed by that, we'll be looking at the dependency installation and the necessary process that one needs to make so that scikit-learn works smoothly. Followed by that, we'll be looking at the environment setup for scikit-learn and finally looking to explore scikit-learn a little bit. So let's get started. Now, before starting directly with scikit-learn, I would like to have your glimpse a little bit on what is machine learning. Now, machine learning is a scientific study of algorithms, statistic models, and the computer systems so that the computer can take decisions or better decisions without being explicitly instructed for each time. Now it's being said that it's a part of subset of artificial intelligence and one of the way to implement it is through scikit-learn. Now scikit-learn is a python library and it's open source allowing it to have a huge development over the period of time and its easy implementation and rapid prototyping makes us one of the most famous libraries in Python implementation. Now, once we can see, this URL takes us to the home page of the API or the library. Okay, so which provides us from either from a very quick start to the roadmap and the flowcharts available to it. Now, one can directly start with a quick start or the references which is used for the major development. Coming back to it, scikit-learn structure is divided into API or the classes followed by subclasses. Now and since it's a very big library, the classes and subclasses is an obvious structure. It provides some of the very fundamental and the major steps which are required for the development of a machine learning model. Every machine learning model usually starts with data handling and pre-processing for which scikit-learn provides a complete subclass of it with including all the necessary functions and features. Followed by it, it gives us some of the examples of the implementation of the scope in which the machine learning is implemented like regression, classification, model selections and even neural networks. Now, once being said, let's look at how scikit-learn is being built and being implemented. Now, scikit-learn is mainly built on main three libraries of NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib. So, for your computer to easily process the scikit-learn, the following dependencies should be installed properly. Now, NumPy and SciPy are the very fundamental libraries of machine learning implementation in Python because it allows the users to implement the multidimensional array and vectorization which increases the speed of the models drastically. Followed by that, matplotlib is a plotting or visualization library allowing the users to plot a different kind of bars and charts and easily through visualization to get insight out of it. Now, looking at the installation of scikit-learn, you need a distribution of Python 2.7 or recommended of greater than Python 3.4x or Python 3.x. Once when that is done, you can install NumPy and SciPy explicitly or recommended process is to use Anaconda distribution. Now, Anaconda is a combination of various IDs and Jupyter notebooks allowing to implement all of the necessary modeling and the library implementation of machine learning easily for the same. Now, Anaconda 
is the recommended process which is to install anaconda for the python 3.x distribution and to install the scikit-learn through the following commands now looking at the first command we have is pip install upgrade scikit-learn now pip is a python installation package python allows the external library installation or api installation very easily through the pip installation now once one downloads and it installs python the pip gets installed automatically simply by that one can directly just run the command as pip install scikit-learn and simply execute it now what happens is once that is done scikit-learn installs all of the necessary dependencies which are required for the same so if you run that simple one command numpy and scipy and scikit-learn will be installed automatically once that is being done we can look at one of the distribution of anaconda so anaconda comes with scikit-learn by default but this is the following command but which one can use to install scikit-learn in anaconda so that is conda install scikit-learn once that is done let's explore a little bit about scikit-learn now scikit-learn is organized in a structure of modules and classes through which when we look at it we can see the various subclasses present accordingly now these are some of the functions which are very much required by the time one is handling a specific part of a machine learning modeling okay so as you can see we have all the distribution present inside it now for example once need to check the matrices or the accuracy of how good the model has worked one will simply do is call the subclass of matrices from sklearn which gives us the accuracy, the AOC curve, and the various classifications to measure how good one model has performed. Now, coming back to usage of scikit-learn, one can simply do import.scikit-learn, which will be allowing to call the complete library, but it is not recommended. Since the libraries in machine learning are pretty big in size, it reduces the efficiency of the program by installing and calling the complete library at once instead of that one should directly call the subclass for which one wants to process now for example if i want to use the pre-processing phase i'll do import followed by scikit-learn and execute the same Now, once the cell is being executed, it describes that I have called pre-processing library or the class from scikit-learn. Now, inside scikit-learn, one that is being called, one can just simply press dot followed by tab, which gives the list of all the functions which are present inside it. Now, these are some of the very major functions which is required in pre-processing and we'll be looking at them in the coming videos now, for example if I want to use imputer imputer is a function which is used to handle the missing values in Python or scikit-learn in the data set if I want to explore the parameters for that one is to go directly to the documentation but with the distribution of Jupyter notebook one can just simply press tab and shift plus tab which gives us this small pop-up of bubble giving the reference of complete documentation for quick reference through which one can easily implement the same now this was one of the overview of how to install scikit-learn and how to start working with the process now the coming classes will be looking at some of the major implementation of programs and the models so stay tuned and thank you